Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus and today we'll discuss about a new coding question for your placement and this question is also very, very important and this is a string type question, okay? So before starting the video, make sure you have subscribed to this channel and after watching the whole video, please like the video and share it with your friends, okay? So today we'll discuss about a problem which is remove all adjacent duplicates in a string, okay? So you will be given a string and you have to remove all the adjacent duplicates. So let's read the question carefully. So you are given a string S. So this is a string S. Then you will be given this string consisting of lowercase English letters. So the string contains only the lowercase letters. Okay. A duplicate removal consists of choosing two adjacent and equal letters and removing them. So if you find the adjacent are duplicates then we'll remove this and again we'll check if the adjacent are duplicates in this string then if we find that then we'll remove this okay so we repeatedly make duplicates removals on string s until we no longer can so return the final string after all such duplicate removals have been made so it can be proven that the answer is unique okay so after removing all the adjacent duplicates from the string, the string will be unique, okay? So there is also a solution hint that is you can use a stack to process everything readily, okay? So using stack, you can easily solve this problem. So how you can use stack for this problem? So let's discuss about it. So you are given this string and your output will be this. So how your output will be this CA? So here you can see your given input is A, B, P, A, C, A. Okay. So here you can see V and V. These two are the adjacent duplicates. So we'll remove V. So after removing B, the string will be like this. A, A, C and A. So here in this string you can see A and A are adjacent duplicates. So again we'll remove this A. That is this adjacent to S will be removed and our final string will be C A and there is no adjacent duplicates. Okay. And this will be our final result. That is our output will be C A. Okay. So now how we can solve this using stack. So you know what is stack. So stack is also a container which follows last in first out. Okay. That is LIFO. Suppose this is a stack and in this stack we'll check if the stack is empty or not. If this is empty, we'll insert this first element. That is the first character, which is A. We'll insert it here, okay? So now our top of the stack is A. So now we'll check if the top of the stack is equal to the next element, that is V. So if the top of the stack is equal to the next character, that is V. So A and V are not equal. So we'll push this character into the stack so we will be pushed here okay so now this v is the top of the stack so now we'll check if this top of the stack is equal to the next character that is b yes b and this b is equal and we'll remove that is we'll pop this element so b will be removed now our top of the stack is A, okay? Now we'll check if the top of the stack is equal to the next character that is A, yes. This A and this A are equal, so this top of the stack will be removed, okay? So now we'll check if the stack is empty, yes, stack is empty. So we'll push this C, so the character C will be forced into the stack, okay? So C will be here. And now this is the top of the stack and now we'll check if the top of the stack is equal to the next character that is A. No. So A will be inserted into the stack. Okay. So now you can see our stack contains A and C. So we have iterated all the characters of the string S. So now the stack contains A and C. So now we'll store this A and C into another string suppose result string so inside the result string we will store this a so in the stack we can't take this c first because a is the top of the stack so a will be come first okay 
so we'll pop this a and store it here and next this a will be removed and next the top of the stack is c and this c will be come to here that is a c okay so this will be our result but you can see our output is ca that is the reverse of this ac so now what we'll do we'll reverse this okay so reverse this ac string so we'll reverse this ac string and our output will be ca okay so this is the final output so in this way we can solve this problem so using the stack this will be very easy to solve this problem okay so now let's write the code so first we will write the basic format of the c++ that is has include weights standard c++ dot h using namespace standard int main Okay, inside the main function, what we'll write? You can see here, we'll write a string, okay? So suppose the name of the string is S and it contains what? A, B, B, A, C, A. Okay, now we'll write a function. Suppose the name of the function is remove adjacent duplicates. So suppose the new function is remove adjacent duplicates, okay? So we'll first this is from here, okay? So before this main function, write the function and the return type will be string because it will return a string. So string remove adjacent. So inside this, write string and s, okay? So this is the new the string and inside this, we'll write a stack. For that right stack here is tsck and then inside this write the data type of the stack so the data of the stack is here that is character so it can contest the character okay then the name of the stack so what is the name of the stack suppose the name of the stack is data it can contest the data okay so the name of the stack is suppose data okay so you can name it anything so now write a for loop for iterating the string s so for int i equals to what i equals to 0 i less than s dot such i plus plus okay so inside this for loop we'll check if the stack is empty or not so how to check if the stack is empty or not so first write the name of the stack that is data then empty function E M P T Y. Okay. So if the stack is empty, it will return true. That is the empty function will return true. And if it is not, then it will return zero. So inside this if condition, we have to write data dot empty. So if this is true, then this if condition will execute. Okay. So if the stack is empty, then we will push the first element. That is push the ith element into the stack. Okay. So i element, suppose the first element is a. Okay. So now the stack is empty and the first element is a. So a will be pushed into the stack. So how to push the data? So first write the name of the stack that is data dot push. And inside this, what do you want to push? S of i. So s of i will be inserted into the stack. So this is the condition for if the stack is empty. Now if the stack is not empty, suppose if there are some elements into the stack, then what we'll do, we'll check if the top of the stack, so if the top of the stack is equal to the ith element or not. Okay, so for that, we'll write here, if data dot top, okay, that means that top of the stack is equal to the s of i or not so if top of the stack is equal to the s of i then we'll remove that means there are duplicates so we'll remove the top of the stack element from the stack so for that write a data dot pop so this will remove 
the top element from the stack okay so if these two are not equal that is these are not duplicates then we'll push this element into the stack so for the right here data dot push push of a so five okay so if these two are not equal then we'll push the a so five into the stack okay so now the stack contains the unique characters okay so now we'll remove each and every character from the stack and we'll store it into another string okay so for that write an empty string so string suppose result and this is an empty string okay so now we'll check while the stack is not empty that is until it contains some values we'll do this while loop okay so while not data dot empty that means while the stack is not empty until the stack is not empty we'll do this while loop so inside this while loop we'll write a result equals to a result plus result plus what data dot top data dot top because we want the top value and we can only extract the top of the stack value from the stack so we'll add the top of the stack value to the result okay and after getting it remove the top of the stack so how to remove the top of the stack so using the for function so write here the name of the stack and then the for function okay so this will remove the top of the stack so next it will check if the stack is empty no the stack is not empty next the top of the stack will be stored in the result so in this way we can store the all the elements into the stack to the result okay and finally what we'll do we'll reverse the result so for that write here reverse and inside this write here result dot begin because we want to reverse the result string so result dot end okay so this will reverse the result and finally we want to return the result to the main function so for that right here return result so this will return the result that is the final result will be returned and this is string so the return of string and here it will show the output that is the out okay so our code is complete so let's run it okay perfect output so you can see our output is ca and our expected output was ca okay so you can check it by giving another test cases and in this way you can solve this problem okay and if you find this video helpful then please like the video share it with your friends and please subscribe the channel okay friends thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care